on y'all it's Kamara crazy we're coming back at you with another little project z episode um i hope everybody's doing okay in this pandemic i know it's pretty crazy um but i got a new gopro if y'all couldn't tell uh i seen some of the stuttering and shit that the other one was doing but i'm going to show y'all a little bit of an update we're going to be doing oil change and coal packs on her today but i'm going to show y'all some of the updates we got for her right now i'm not going to show you all of them because i want some of them to be a secret I think everybody can guess it's going to be a nitrous car. The nitrous kit is on its way. Um, but during all this like crisis, it's been really hard to get parts for it. So, um, As you all can tell, we got a pillar gauge for it. Or a pillar, the pod that goes up in the pillar. I'm going to wire up this air fuel ratio gauge in it. And that will go into the speed engineering exhaust. Uh, open the door here got a lot of stuff in here for her. um i've been slowly getting parts for her. these are the i don't know if y'all be able to see that or not because it's pretty dark these are richmond 410 gears that are in that box um so it'll have 410 gears eventually and last but not least i got my inner fender wells for them in here um as y'all can tell arp hardware for the header bolts um and that big giant box i'll be able to see that where i got a new front bumper but yeah new front bumper for um i'm sorry the gopro the sd card on gopro is acting weird for some reason but in the trunk is one of my favorite parts so far. These are Texas Speed inch and seven eighths long tubes. They're a little big, but for the next motor that Project Z is going to get, she'll probably need them eventually. Um, and AC Delco uh, exhaust manifold gasket. So let's go ahead and get started doing the coal packs and oil change and uh i'm thinking i'm gonna pressure wash up underneath her take her down the road see how she's gonna act um as y'all know she does have a really bad exhaust leak with these el cheapo long tubes that's on it as y'all can tell these coal packs look kind of old that's why i'm gonna replace all eight so let's go ahead and get to it As y'all can see, I'm doing the hard side first. It's really not a bad process. Just one bolt here, 10 millimeter bolt, another bolt down here, 10 millimeter bolt, and it comes right out. That's the plug for it. Obviously, y'all know we got MSD wires. This is the original. Uh, this is the original coil pack that's on it. That was on it. They're all Denzo coil packs, so I think they've been replaced before. But, from the looks of it, they've been on there a right good while, so let's go ahead and do the rest of them. Well, I got most of them out. As you all can see, that one back there is still in there. And as everybody knows, that is the biggest pain in the ass to get to on these LS1 cars. Not sure about the LT1 cars, never had an LT1 car. But they're a pain in the ass to get to. Got all of them laid out. Here's the original wheels to her. But that's three of them out. Now it's just time to get the rest of them out. So, all right, everybody, I got the passenger side completely done. We're all four on this side. Brand new. I'm sorry, uh, I didn't really film all of it. I got moving along so fast, and once I get moving along, I just lose track. Now I'm just doing this side. Um, 
And yeah, I'll go ahead and start doing this side, pulling them off, and uh, I'll let y'all watch this side since I forgot to film that side. I just got moving along too quick, so let's get to it. Got all of them out on this side, y'all. Um, this side's actually a lot more simpler of a process. Uh, but there we go. That's all eight old ones. As y'all can tell, they've look like they've been sitting on there a right good while. So I imagine that's probably why she had that mess on this side, on the driver's side bank. Um, I don't know if y'all remember when we hooked up when we put the transmission in it. I hooked it up to the computer, and it was saying that the car had a miss. And I just assumed it was coil packs. Because the plugs on it looked like it was good. Or the plug wires and the plugs looked like they were good. But now all we got to do is go ahead and finish button up this side and fire her off and change the oil in her and she'll be good to go. Take a ride. See what she does. So I'll see you all in a minute. All right, y'all, we're back. Um, I got all the coil packs on it. I took it down the road, which I'll be posting or putting a little clip of a video that my buddy took of the car coming towards him. Uh, I appreciate Chad for that, actually. But right now, what we're doing is getting this window motor straight. I'll just put another window motor in it. A little bit of redneck ingenuity because it's missing the clip that actually secures this body. But it does go up and down good now. Sorry about my dad out there. He's cutting grass, but let me flip this on. Goes up and down good now. Well, that's all we got for today, folks. As y'all were able to tell, I got the window switch working again. I got the window regulator pop riveted back in how it's supposed to be. But for some reason, it, it still comes up, but it wants to come up slow. Not too sure about what's going on with that. I'll have to look into that a little bit more at a later time. But in the next video, we are going to put the new front bumper on it and uh this thursday i'll actually be getting her tagged and on the road drivable finally after months and months and months it's been a project since well yeah it's been a project since november and she's coming along pretty good i'm actually proud of it it's i'm proud to say i actually built this car with my own money and it's nice to treat yourself uh, something to something that you've wanted for a long time it's been a long day, but I'm going to go ahead and piece it out. I'll show you all the little clip of me driving her down the road after I got the coal packs and all that done. She's 10 times smoother than she used to be. But my name's Camaro Crazy, and I'll talk to you all later.